Imagine embarking on a journey to the place where the human race began. To a land of myth and legend, dating back to the first historical records. To the seat of an ancient kingdom, which traded using its own gold, silver and bronze coinage, at a time when most of the world was still engaged in barter. Welcome to Ethiopia. Wherever you may be, finding your way to Addis Ababa will not be difficult, as it is served by Ethiopian Airlines and nine other international carriers. Whether you are in Addis Ababa in transit, for a brief stopover, or as part of a longer trip, a city tour is a must. Addis Ababa today presents the face of modern cosmopolitan Africa, with its mirror-fronted high-rises, hotels, banks, modern shopping malls, public buildings and monuments. Impressive by day, even more so by night. Addis Ababa has a number of museums where visitors can learn a lot about the nation's rich culture and history. This is one of Africa's fastest developing cities. Countless souvenir shops around the city and in the great central market, or Mercato, you can find crafts, textiles and artifacts from all over the country. In an area as big as France and Spain combined, it seems that nature has chosen Ethiopia as a showpiece for its full variety and diversity.
travel to the roof of Africa in the icy peaks of the Simeon Mountains. Here in the Afro-Alpine Bali Mountains, one can experience the heat of the Sahara by day and the cold of Siberia by night. Travel to one of the lowest places on Earth, in a depression below the Rift Valley. In Ethiopia, nature, culture and history are inextricably intertwined. From the Cape of Good Hope to the Arctic Circle, nowhere in the world has more to tell about human history than the deserts of Ethiopia. It was the sandy soils of the Afar region that presented the three and a half million year old bones of Lucy to the world. Alongside the physical beauty of the country, there is the amazing diversity of its 74 million inhabitants, consisting of more than 85 nations, nationalities and linguistic groups. As you travel throughout the country, you may receive a welcome in any one of 200 dialects. Amharic is the working language of the country, but in the various cities and towns throughout Ethiopia, English, Arabic, French and Italian are also spoken. For the visitor, exploring Ethiopia's rich cultural mosaic is an exciting journey. The southern part of Ethiopia is a mosaic of colourful cultures and customs with more than 56 nations and nationalities. Seven years younger than the Western Gregorian calendar, Ethiopia's unique Julian calendar celebrates cultural and religious festivals 13 months a year. The harmonious coexistence between the major religious faiths is there to see in people worshipping in their mosques and churches side by side. Then there are the Olympic heroes who have carried Ethiopia's flag in stadiums throughout the world. Come and join them and run with the best in the annual Great Ethiopian Run, Africa's biggest road race with more than 30,000 participants. Ethiopia is the birthplace of coffee. 
For most Ethiopians, the traditional coffee ceremony, with three separate and consecutive servings, is an integral and fundamental part of social life. Imagine the cutting and shaping of mountains of hard granite with simple hand tools of chisels and hammers. Imagine moving a 500 ton monolith before the invention of the pulley system. Imagine the representation of a multi-story building erected in the very dawn of history. Imagine finding all this spread across one country. On Ethiopia's historic route, your imagination becomes reality. Here in Tigray, you can begin your journey in the place where Ethiopia's oldest civilizations took root and flourished. The temple at Yeha, the stelae fields of Aksum, the ruined palace of the Queen of Sheba and many other historic sites may take you on a spatial journey of some hundreds of kilometers, but on a journey through time back several thousands of years. Here at St. Mary of Zion and Axum is the final resting place of the Ark of the Covenant, the original tablets of Moses. Here, legend, mystery and fact are inextricably bound together. Here in the small town of Hamad and Agash, you can hear the story of how the first Muslims were granted asylum in Ethiopia. Some 800 years ago, craftsmen set out to create a town carved from the living rock. From basalt, tuft and lava, they created one of the wonders of the world. Lalibela, your second stop on Ethiopia's historic route a testimony to faith in stone. Here, ancient castles narrate the past glory of famous kings. Paintings and designs speak to us across the centuries. This is Gondor, your third destination on the historic route.
Here is the very stop of myth and legend. The Jegol, the old walled city of Harar, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. A city with 97 ancient mosques, where men feed the wild beasts of the field. But it is real, and you can see and experience this when you visit the ancient walled city of Harar and explore the town inside and outside its five gates. The Consul Cultural Landscape was inscribed uh, on, world, on UNESCO's World Heritage List uh, during the 35th uh, uh, conference of the uh, World Heritage Committee held in Paris between uh, June 19 and uh, 28, uh, 2011. And uh, the World Heritage Committee have inscribed, has inscribed the Consul Cultural Landscape under criteria 3 and 5 for the exceptional uh, and outstanding universal value of the console terraces, uh, the dry stone terraces, and uh, the world towns that are uh, included in the cultural landscape, and also for the resilience uh, uh, preservation, uh, conservation of the uh, resilience of the, the console people of the, these cultural landscapes. The cultural landscape will attract more people, more visitors, and thereby uh, the region, the local people, the community can generate uh, some income through tourism. The most powerful forces of geology and nature are at work here. This is an active volcano with a permanent lava lake, but you may approach it in safety. The mystery, power and beauty of nature are all on display here. Here a powerful river undertakes an underground journey. Sof Omar, a 15 kilometre long system of caves carved and sculpted by the force and power of nature. In this country there are more than 280 species of wildlife, including rare endemics, roaming free on some of the most stunning scenery on earth.
you can find and experience all these marvels when you come to Ethiopia.